Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be episode 4 in a beginner pro, uh, projects for Python series coming out of this channel. And what we'll be looking at today is a Morse code translator that will take a number um, entered as either uh, uh, integer values or um, entered in Morse code and we'll convert it to the opposite depending on what the user wants to do. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with Morse code, here's a video, I, uh, picture I just grabbed from the internet. These are the numbers 1 through 9 and 0 in Morse code, and it's um, just coded language. But uh, what we're going to start with, and I've already typed these, so you don't have to watch me type this up 10 times, but we're going to start with a table with the numbers 0 through 9, and then we're going to uh, create an associated Morse code table in the same order that has the five-digit um, Morse code call and then a uh, space sign and that's how we'll identify in a long string of numbers spaces between numbers. So first thing you want to do when you're converting from one thing to another is create either lists of both um, sets of data or you can combine them in a dictionary which is one way we could have done this but it's actually for the way I want to demonstrate this code I'm going to keep them in two lists and show how you can use that just know um, this is a good place where you could use a dictionary as well with key value pairs um, that are affiliated with each other. So um, without any further ado, let's get right into the code. The first input we're going to want to get from the user is we're going to ask them whether they want to go from numbers to Morse code or Morse code to numbers. And so we'll say numbers to Morse and we'll ask them to enter true because this is really just a boolean or Morse to numbers and we'll say that will be false and then we'll have them enter true false in there and then the second thing we'll ask them for is value which will be input and we will say enter value to be converted <laughs> so there we go I mean that's all the data we need from the operator and the rest is gonna be our code so let's go ahead and take care of this first scenario which is direction equals true which um, you know we've defined as that being the scenario where we're going from integer numbers to Morse code and so we'll create a result variable that's just gonna start as an empty string and then for uh, we'll use a for loop to go through every um, number in the number that they enter so for I in range and the range is gonna be the length of the input value um, so this is going to do whatever we put in the loop below once for every character inside of the value that was created. So hopefully that makes sense. And then we'll go ahead and create an intermediate variable that I'll call an indexer. And that's going to be um, just a value that's going to be the integer of the value of i. So we don't really need to grab its position in the index for this list because we have kind of a unique list here where the position in the index is the integer value. Um, so I'm just trying to show us using both tables, but you actually don't need to access the numbers table to go from numbers to Morse code because the index location is exactly the same spot. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to say the result plus equals to itself and then the Morse code table and we're going to grab the value at whatever position the indexer is at. So you could skip a, a line of code and just put this exact code inside of the Morse um, table index value but I'm trying to show where the value comes from. Uh, we take the value at position i we make sure it's in an integer and then we look up where in the Morse code that integer is and this then we're gonna go ahead and print at the end of this the result and so let's go ahead and run one where we just convert from a number to um, Morse code first and let's make sure that that runs oh, we're looking at the previous example so let's go ahead and make sure that this runs let's say true because that's the only situation we've planned for and let's just say one two three it's an easy one Okay, and it's given us nothing. So let's go ahead and check out what we've done here. Result is equal to an empty string. Morse indexer. Print 
the result. Direction equals true. Hmm. Say true. One, two, three. Oh, well, there's a value. Um, that shouldn't really have mattered. I mean, saying if direction is the exact same code as saying if direction is equal to true, but whatever, I guess. Um, so here we've got enter value to be converted, one, two, three, and we can reference our table if we've forgotten, but one, two, three is actually just however many stars they start off with, so we can see that's working. And cool, we've done half of a Morse code converter. So let's go ahead and handle the other half. So now we haven't had direction equals true, and we're gonna want the result to start off as an empty string, just like before. But now what we're gonna say is for i in range, and this time you actually have to split the value that was entered up into six. So we're gonna have the length of the value um, but then we have to divide that by six because every character in there is um, six characters long, right? All of the Morse code numbers are five characters and then a space. So we take the total number of characters in there and we divide it by six and that's going to default to a float. That's what happens when you do division. So we'll make it an integer because ranges need integers. And so now we're going to use that indexer variable again. Um, but this time it's actually going to come from a function Python has built in to look up the index of something and we're going to go ahead and put in the value that we've got times uh, the value i times 6 and it's going to go up to i times 6 plus 6 and so as we go through this loop each time we're grabbing the next string of six characters um, so it's going to start from 0 up to 6, but then the next one is going to start at 6 and go to 12. And remember about uh, ranges of indexes, they don't count the endpoint. So 0 to 6 is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But then 6 to 12 is going to be 6 through 11. So this is how you address a block of 6 characters in an incrementing for loop. And then in the next rung, let's do just like before and say the result is going to increase by now let's just make it a string value because that's the only way you can add um, text like this concatenated and we're gonna want the numbers at the indexer that we just looked up and let's go ahead and print our result and one thing we probably should do um, you can do this kind of for all of your boolean variables and that maybe was linked to why we were getting trouble before you can specify that something's a boolean just like you can specify something's an integer or a float and let's go ahead and check this code out and see if we can go from morse code to a decimal number now so let's say dash 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 space i think that's zero dash that might be eight and i'm pretty sure that's one. So let's see what we get. And we've got a mistake. So interesting. Let's try putting this back. Direction equals true. False. And let's do that again. Dash, 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 space. And star, dash, 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 space. Well, it really shouldn't be looking at rung 10 at all because this is only checking to see if it's true. Checking this error doesn't make a lot of sense. Value to be converted. Let's try just one character. Spend too much time typing. Okay, well, that worked. Um, false. Dash, 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 space, dash, 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 star, star, space, zero, 08. Okay, let's run it true again. See if we can convert a number to Morse. Well, that's not going to work because I spelled true wrong. Stop and rerun. True. Enter value to be converted. Let's say one, two, three. Let's do a long number. Is not in the list. And now it's looking at the wrong one with the Sam Hill. True. One, two, three. 
me for. Okay, well, the code is clearly working. It's written correctly to go in both directions. For some reason, I'm having trouble with this Boolean input variable. Um, so that's fascinating. But uh, in any case, um, you probably, probably what we could do to solve this would be just make this a one and make this a zero and even though this is basically the same exact situation I bet if we say if direction equals one and now it's checking against a value um, actually we can just put that in there um, let's go ahead and try that real quick so one enter value to be converted one two three seven we get a value let's try putting a zero in and let's do dash 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 space okay we get a zero so that's a little frustrating you should be able to use that as a boolean that shouldn't have given you an issue but I guess when in doubt use string inputs um, and I'm super curious if you've encountered that problem before and you know a solution uh, or you just want to point out why I'm a dummy go ahead and let me know in the comments otherwise hopefully you found this uh, example useful again you could absolutely create a dictionary and tie each of these numbers to a key value pair or the other thing is you don't really need your numbers list because you can just use the index of each number but this is kind of a unique scenario where that's allowed and I'm trying to create sort of an idea of how you can take one list and swap it out with another list sort of a code conversion um, program so Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, feel free to let me know with any comments about what you saw here. And uh, if you found this or anything else on the channel useful, I'd appreciate uh, if you'd leave a like and a subscribe. And as always, uh, appreciate you checking out the channel, and good luck with your code. Thanks. Bye.